Yo yo, it's Rangulius here, and you are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Withering Room. This game just came out, um, so I thought I'd uh, give her a try. Um, she it's, seems like it's like a side scroller type game. It's like a horror theme, so um, it's kind of a different different thing for me. I don't usually play these types of games, but. Um, Looked a little interesting, so I thought I'd give it a try. Prologue. Moisten Gatehouse, 1892, in a dream. Nightingale is sent to Mostern Private Asylum by her father. New patients must spend their first night in the gatehouse for observation. It is there that Nightingale first awakens in the dreams. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Move left, move right. Pretty basic. Some furniture can be interacted with. Like what? The door. He has bathroom. Door. What happens if we leave it open? Close the door. Some furniture. What is this? Inspect that. A corpse in a cage. It is blocking a hole in the wall. Oh shit. I guess she's in a dream. So. Whoa. Okay. Some furniture can be used to hide. When close, press triangle to hide. Stay hidden until monsters pass by. Oh, wow. Alright. Alright. Come on. This... Dark Souls monster there. Crouch. Sneak left. Quiet. What do you mean? Trigger down. Sneak right. Quiet. Okay. So you have to like... Okay. That's how you sneak. Okay, so grandfather clock. Inspect. Grandfather clock. There's a keyhole in the front. Okay, so we have to find a key. Fireplace. Press triangle near doors to silently peek through them. Sorry, I'm playing on a PlayStation controller, so it's just automatically. I think in. I just translate instantly. Okay, so there's nothing there. Gatehouse office is where I am. Read special placement log. Special placement log. 24 February 1891. Patient Millie M. Wood. Age 13. Symptoms. Pending. I think that's crossed out. Um, epilepsy. Inappropriate behaviors. Is that crossed out? I can't really tell. No, okay. Or yes, it is crossed out. Okay, I guess you can see. Yeah, that makes sense. 5 May 1891. Patient Emma Banyan, Banyan age 14. Symptoms pending, crossed out. Fix fires? Inappropriate behaviors? Is that fires? I think that's fires. 1st of March 1892. So, quite a while. After that, patient Becca Mason, age 15, symptoms, disagreeableness, headaches, special placement log. What is this? Uh, 6th of September, 1892, patient 
Nightingale Williams, age 15, symptoms pending. So I'm obviously playing as Nightingale Williams, it seems. Typeface, what's that? Typeface. Oh. Okay, I see. Now I'll keep it outside. Keep it a little bit more authentic. Okay, so. There's a nice teddy bear there. Picture of the brain. Nothing I'm seeing here. Any other button do anything? No tools. I don't have tools. Oh, I have like a roll. Wow. It's like Dark Souls up in here. Okay, so let's peek again. Nothing doesn't seem like anything's there, so we'll just open it. Where are we hiding from? Feeling like we're hiding. Oh, the world. Why am I still good? What? What the fuck? How long has it been? So many. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's just hide there. Hopefully he just... Lord Mostyn won't like this. Uh... Won't like what? What is this place? What to do? Read the gatehouse key. Father. Hopefully it's like stop time. Uh... Dalad's mind. Yo, I can't. I don't freaking know what that is. How do you read that, Father? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna guess that's Daffod's. Daffod's. Daffod's mind is literally decaying, but he can still be of use. Keep him from wandering the grounds. I've locked the gatehouse door. I nailed the spare key in his back. Whoa, into his back. What? I nailed the spare key into his back in the cage. You need it. Wait. One more time. I nailed the spare key into his... Okay, so, like, literally, I nailed the spare key into his back in the cage. You need you need it, in case you need it. Cursive is a little difficult. Holy crap. You'll have to be sneaky. In addition to the safeguard, you I've cast a spell on the front garden of the manor. No one dead may pass through. If you're out there... Check for the growing white sigil, or, yeah, sigil above the doorway to uh, announce it's still working. Your ever buoy daughter? Your ever. Your ever. I don't. Yeah, buoy? Bowie? Buoy daughter Margaret? That was a fucking tough read. Uh, gatehouse key. Okay, so it's nailed to on. So there's the guy with the cage. Daffod. I nailed the spare key onto his back in case you need it. Okay. No one dead may pass through. If you're out there, check the glowing white sigil above the doorway. To ensure it's still worth it. Check the white. Sorry, I just gotta, like, help read it. Hopefully I don't forget. I, I'll probably forget all of this as soon as I close this. Nailed to his back. Okay. Well, he's gonna come back this way. I don't think that's the guy I need. I don't think it's the guy I need. Eek. Lock. So was that, was that, that was not the cage guy. That was a different guy. Yeah. 
peek in here. Go in there. Fireplace, bed, so it's bedroom. Search. Strange coin, treasure. Times two. Curious coin with a cross. It's not clear what metal it's made of. Has a subtle iron scent. Who needs money in a dream? As the weeks dragged on, my own motivation to help the guests act out their fantasies waned. I began to understand. A coin is a favor stored for later. A coin is a favor stored for later. Did I take it? Do I have an inventory? Oh, what's this? Assign items to the pause menu. In the pause menu. Interesting. So there's like treasure and often. So that coin is now in my inventory under treasure. There's a map. Interesting. Status, quest, stats. So there's like a whole stats, quests, letters, notes. So I ca okay, so I do keep the notes. Interesting. Absolutely. Fires. Hmm. Well, I'm in the gatehouse residence. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there he is. I think this is the guy we want. I'm gonna open it and like sneak. Sneak? Don't sneak. What the hell? Oh, is there like a uh, no tools? Maybe that's not the guy I need. I'm just wondering if I'm too close to the door. And like I can't actually interact with him. Do I have to like wait for No. Oh. Yep. No. Interesting. Okay. Let's try something else. Go back through here. I guess there is a oh shit. And that's the guy with the key. I see it now. I see it now. I see it. So many years. He's got a bear trap on his calf. Okay, here we go. Pizza? Sealed. Gatehouse key, permanent key. The key to the front door of the mansion's gatehouse. Daffied, have you misplaced the key again? I would hammer it to your backside, you absolute billock. And she did. Or he did, or whoever did. Someone did. Okay, so that opens up probably the door over here. I think there's a door over here, if I'm correct. Interact with the exit door. Unlock the key. Um, let's take a peek. There's a symbol above the door, like a triangle with some clovers off the sides of them. Okay. Um, open it. Walk through. White sigil above the doorway indicates enemies cannot pass through. This area is safe. Hold RB run. Running is louder than walking. Okay, so this is walking. That's running. Hide in the bush yeah interesting okay there shouldn't be enemies here right like they can't pass through am i wrong what's over here hide right there wasn't anything else okay open peak well obviously peak. entrance hall Nice bust of Alexander. 
search. Red rocks, crafting, ocular, occult. Uh, wax, colored with matter. A useful ingredient in the production of spells. Blood is her mortar. Blood is her mortar. Eh? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck? These are moving things. They're like... They're just leaning against the wall and they're just looking at me. And then there's a midget over here. Painting. Okay, so... Uh, can I just interact? No? Well, I don't want to get... What's this? Speak? Okay. Yeah, I'm in like a safe zone, right? Like this is a safe zone? Chocolate cake. Healing item. Slightly stale chocolate cake. Still delicious. Plus 75 health. Is that an item? Yes. Okay. If I assign a shortcut, and we just go number one. And then we... Side scroll. Do we need... Do we need to do that? I would assume health is probably good to have it there. I wonder... Well, we'll find out. Okay, let's speak. You look lost. First time in the dream? I'm Becca. Becca Mason. She was in one of the... She was like one of those patients. I'm afraid you've stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have. We're having a sort of celebration to welcome a new member of our little club. You see, we're witches. In the dreary walking wor waking world, there's no magic, but here, magic is real. I'm sure it's all terribly confusing. And you need to go talk to the first witch. She's our leader. You find her up ahead and by the fireplace. Just answer any questions she has truthfully, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, and feel free to grab a piece of cake. It's delicious. Grab the cake already. I'm assuming this is the old chick I'm supposed to speak to. Yes, no, yes. By the fireplace, I thought though, so. Am I wrong? Maybe I was wrong in, on that. Oh, nope. Okay. You're not supposed to be here. Are you a patient here at Most, most in Private Asylum? Uh, yes, I think I am, so. Uh, should I lie? Probably not. Let's not lie. Hmm. Did you come from the gatehouse? And once again, they told me not to lie, so maybe I should just eat, eat it. What is going on behind her? Hmm. You made it all the way here with no assistance? Yeah, you could say that. Fuck. What do you mean, liar? <gasps> what the fuck? I kinda- what? Okay. Is that it? Complete the prologue. Western Gatehouse, 1892, in a dream. Okay. The pain of flames sub subdues as Nightingale loses sub sub our consciousness. She awakens in a strange bedroom with the most, within the Mostern house. Still in the dream. Okay, so that was like supposed to kind of happen? Maybe not. Interesting. Liar. Well, like, I technically, I guess I got help, but like, not really. Like, if I grabbed the key without reading the note, I guess that might have worked. Okay. Interesting. Open this. I'm gonna close this. So there's a place to hide in there. Just walk around that. So that's where I'm in a safe zone, I think. Is what this means. So why would I have options to hide? Grandfather clock. There's a keyhole in the front. So. Hmm. Oops. It's locked. Okay. 
can't peek. It's locked. All right. Come on. Uh. Where are we going? What are we doing? What is this? Uh. Is there something to do with the mannequin? Oh, oh. Search. Search. A cleaver. Weapon. Okay. An old kitchen cleaver, generally used for hacking. Through th thick cuts of meat. Normally? Ugh, normally. Normal. Four physical damage, one bleeding buildup. Six poison impact. Heavy. Eight physical damage, three, ble three bleed buildup, and twelve poison impact. So, there's heavy and normal attack. Use weapon, X, strike the mannequin. Heavy attack, hold, hold X, strike the mannequin with a heavy attack. Okay. Dodge. Yeah, I was already aware of that. Dodge back while it's not moving. And then I'll just roll either way. Okay. What's this? I'm terribly sorry if I frightened you, but just appearing like that. I like to observe new arrivals to ensure they are not violently deranged before permitting them out of their room. Well, that's nice. Margaret Black. I am Margaret Black. I am a, I share administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Black. Okay. Your name is Nightingale, isn't it? Let me first deeply apologize to you for being set alight as soon as you arrived here. I assure you, the responsible party has been severely rep reprimanded. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm not familiar with your case history, but you may be wondering if this is all a delusion. But you may be wondering if this is all a delusion. I can assure you it's not. You've been drawn into a phenomenous, unique, most, most in this house. Yeah, I can read. It's a sort of dream or nightmare. Weeks will pass here during a single night in the real world. Okay. I'm sure you'll have questions. I'll answer my best I'm able. Escaping dangers, magic, nothing. What can I tell you? Well, the dangers, I guess. Escaping is something that I'm pretty sure I probably can't do. As those trapped in the real, in the dream decay in the real world, they turn into deranged living corpses here. Those trapped in the dream decaying in the real world. So people were trapped here. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates more such unpleasant inhabitants each year. As such, it's critical that you avoid attention until you are properly equipped with the tools to defend yourself. While dying in the dream is a temporary affair, the experience is still dreadful, so you must be careful. What did that really mean? That was like... So people who dream this dream can get stuck here? And as they decay in the real world, they decay in here, which obviously, like, I guess that makes sense. Okay, magic. In order to in invisibly observe you earlier, I use spirit twig. Simply by snapping a twig in my hand, I am able to briefly move about as if I were a phantom. In the real world, magic is the provenance of charlatans. But remarkably, in, an, in the dream, magic is real. I'm a novice magic. You'll want to seek out the filthy wretch to learn more. Okay, is that the bitch who fucking let me on fire or what? Probably not because you said you dealt with her. Escaping. The methodology for waking up from the dream is not well understood. 
Some awaken with ease, only with vague memory of what occurred here. Others are trapped indefinitely with their Komoto's bodies slowly decaying in the real world. Okay. Dying in the dream provides no release. You'll simply awaken new. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll let you explore then. The mansion reconfigures itself each night, but you should be able to locate me in the study with ease. I'll leave you with the key to this room and make my exit a different way. Okay. Oh, and Nightingale? Don't be discouraged if you die. If you have already seen, it's only tempered. Okay. It sounds perverse, but death truly is the greatest teacher. See you around. And then she turned into like bats or something. New quest. Find the filthy wretch in the occult. Meet Margaret in the study. You can view current quests in the notes section in the pause menu. Yeah, I saw that earlier, but we're definitely going to check that out. So we're going to go find the filthy wretch in the occult library. He can be found in one of the bedrooms in a chest requiring a coat. Melee, projectile damage, spell damage, all at 100%. I'm at level 0. There's heavy attacks and light attacks. There's dodge. So I'm going to be expected to fight these things. Okay. And you. Okay. Get out of here then. Uh, peek. Toggle minimap with R down. Um, let's, uh... Okay. We're in the strange bedroom. What's that question mark? Uh, okay. Can I go out here? The interesting thing on the wall. This guy wrestling a bowl, looks like. Anything I need to know there? I don't know. Let's peek here. Banquet hall. Let's uh, go through there. Search. Party roll. Healing item. Party lie roll with a variety of seeds provides a nourishing effect that heals over time. I appreciate Albert and Daphne's mother is German, but why must we? she be so German? I simply cannot stomach the, any more pretzel bread. I'm done being polite. You know, pretzel bread is freaking good. Uh, 25 health. Heals an additional 1% per second for 60 seconds. Okay, so it's like, uh, health and then a little bit of health regen after that. Interesting. So, if we just go... And we set that... Oh, oh, so when we died, we lost everything. What the hell? Okay. Oh, no. Or yes, because that's crossed out. But I guess if we find more, that's where it's gonna be. Okay, okay, I think I kinda I think I gotta get it, sort of. Maybe. I'm gonna put that there. And move on. What is this? Why can't I close it? Why would it matter? Oh, what's that? That's uh, that's kind of creepy. Yep, uh, yep, saw that coming. Oh, what the hell? You have become slightly cursed. As your curse level increases, strange things begin to happen.
that is effect on this. What the freaking hell keeps happening here? That's a mirror. <gasps> Paralyzed. What the hell? What the fuck? Okay, we're gonna go back here. Oh, okay, maybe we're gonna do this. We're gonna open this. We're gonna hide. Oh, close it. Oh, we just moved. Got it. Okay. When he goes to sit down, we're gonna get him. Okay, okay. so we got up top. What the hell? Why did it open? I didn't open it. Okay, well, we're just gonna wait. I don't know why it opened. I don't think I remember opening it. What the? Okay. I'm gonna keep it closed. Maybe you'll sit back down. No. Okay, we're gonna open it, jump out, and attack him now. Oh, nope. Or not jump out. We're just gonna close the curtain. Hmm. Let's try here. What is it gonna take? Can I actually attack this guy or wait? A little bit before he comes back here. Maybe I should just jump over right now. Fuck that. Uh, search. Healing items, slightly old, dry, but still edible. 35 health. I don't know if we need to heal. I don't know what that skull is. I got hit a bunch of times by that guy. Uh, if you peek, can't open from this side. Okay, so we kind of screwed ourselves here. Here. Hide. Here he comes. Can we freaking attack him. No, he can't. Okay, so he's not attackable. Status effect. Cooling down. That, I'm assuming that skull means I'm cursed then? Or something? We'll see, I guess. Like halfway. Is that my health? Okay. We are gonna go and jump out right now. Hmm. Open, open, open that, go through there. Um, I think I'm just gonna eat something just to maybe, maybe the other thing. Go to the main menu. Eat this. Okay, so that top thing's my health. Okay. Kinda figured, but it's just so what is that skull? Is that the curse that they were talking about? Bedroom A. Down there. Demon only can't hit phantoms. Read Pada. Pada. Padua. Foul intent to kill this what is someone's coughing? Foul intent filled the streets of Pauda. Padua. In the beginning of the, the city had five dukes, 16 judges, and eight painters. That's a lot of judges. And eight painters. On the following day, three painters drove knives into their chests. Next, it, each painter ate two judges. What? The following day, three painters drove knives into their chests. Next, each painter ate two judges. Then three dukes drowned themselves. In Pada, only a few dukes, judges, and painters remain. What the hell? Books and notes you've read. Me, okay. This is a code. Pada. Enter. Three digit code. 
Pauda. Foul intent filled the streets of Pauda. In the beginning, the city had five dukes, 16 judges, and eight painters. In the following day, three painters drove knives into their chests. Next, each painter ate two judges. Then, three dukes drowned themselves. In Pada, only a few dukes and judges entered. Okay, so five dukes, 16 judges, eight painters. Where are the painters? Eight, so it's three is five. Next, painter, two judges. Five painters, two judges. So that's ten. So okay, and then three dukes drown themselves. Two, three, four, five, six. You take away ten. That's six. So two, six, and five. Cult library key. Key to the cult library. Peter has spent fortune in the silly old books about how summoning demon. Peter has spent a fortune on the silly old books about how to summon demons to do one's bidding. Oh, okay. I was reading that right. Not sure what they were teaching him at Oxford, but I thought I was paying for a degree in classics. Not 13th century magic nonsense written by some monk in an overactive manner imagination. La, la, la. I can speak. <coughs> oh, that dude's like messed up. Okay, nothing? Cabinet? Um, I'm just gonna stay away from him for now. Search this. First aid kit. Handy kit filled with healing items. 50% health. Heals bleeding. Status effect. Heals poisons. Status effect. Okay. So read the Welsh Country House 1. Welsh Country Houses. Mauston House. Situated on the hill in Mauna. Between St. Ellie's Church and Brian's Box Abbey. Brian Bach Abbey. Ruins has fascinating and tragic history. Built by coal magnate. Yep, built by coal magnate Alfred Mostyn in 1869. The houses, the house was initially designed as a country retreat before a series of terrible events becoming the private residence of an American doctor. A cholera clinic? A cholera, cholera clinic? And finally a mental asylum? Cholera? Is that cholera? That's cholera. Cholera clinic and finally a mental asylum. Well, Search. Yellow wax, craft cult, wax of colors with row crocus. Crocus. Use ingredient in the directions. Albert, in the house scar, never thought of him as a flower into his nest. Must be he has a lady love somewhere, feeling sorry for whomever she is. Well, that's mean. So that skull is probably my cursed amount. Hmm. So I got a key. <laughs> oh. What the hell? Open that. Okay. So I'm assuming I can attack them. They're not invisible or ghost. That was creepy as hell though. Uh Welsh Country Houses 2. Welsh Country Houses. 
Alfred Malston of Lancaster, was born of modest means. He managed to build a coal mining empire after he was bequeathed a small plot of southeast Wales by his uncle. Like many of the newly rich, Alfred hoped for a more leisurely aristocratic life for his children. So off went his twins, Peter and Priscilla, to England for a proper education. In 1869, Molston started construction on a country home halfway between a mine and Oxford, where Peter was pursuing a classic degree. Okay. So... I got a key. Strange bedroom, front door to the cult library. Yeah. This is creepy shit. Okay, so what's this though? I can search this. Blank scroll. Crafting a cult. Times three. A blank piece of parchment. Perfect for crafting a spell. Priscilla has purchased a great heaping pile of blank scrolls, ostensibly from Egypt. Who we're going to try to craft a magical spell that will let us speak to our dear dead mother. A silly game, to be sure, but what if it works? Okay. Okay. Oh. Cursed Ward Ring. Cursed Ring. A contemporary ring featured a skull etched into a stone. Death is inevitable, but we have a history of making inevitable evi in inevitable evitable, don't we? Receives 33% less curse damage. Well, we should probably put that on. Um, let's hide. And equip that. I think is how we already took a decent amount of curse damage, it seems. Go in there. Oh, that's we got some. That's the same dude. Seems like it. Okay. Read spirits theory and practices one. Spirits theory and practice. The enigmatic, in enigmatic Miles Creighton, researcher into the unexplained gave the following five fundamental traits of spirits one typically confined to in to the room in which they die two cannot be damaged or manipulated through physical mechanism so i guess the guy that was attacking me that was like ghostly was a spirit i guess okay so Three, have been known to assail the living, sometimes causing paralysis. So, yeah. Okay, four, exercise limited influence over physical world, i.e. making small objects float. Five, visible only to in mirrors, or those who are highly spiritually attuned. Okay. So, we definitely got attacked by a spirit. Do I have to worry about this now? Spirit twig, tool, times two. A gnarled magic twig, somewhat hot to the touch. Snap it in... Snap it to become a spirit for five seconds. Spirit cannot be seen and are completely invulnerable. Whenever I'm cornered or overwhelmed, I just snap a twig and sneak away. A spirit form for five seconds. Fifteen curse damage to a cast. There's, there's a price to pay for, for this. Five seconds. Okay, so that doesn't seem like a long time, but I guess that's maybe enough to get it get out of the frame that you're in. It seems. Maybe let's assign that. We got two health. I guess we can assign that to three. And then we will back out. Go to cool. So I'm assuming we can just Is that just so if I press square, that's what that is. No. Okay. If I, I don't really want to click on it. What 
what if I use one by accident? Okay. Oh boy! Did you get in? Screw you! Screw you! I got you. Ah! I got this. Where did she come from? Oh, she's after me. I got her. Ow! Almost got her. Oh! Got her! I'm almost dead, though. Kill something or someone. Murder. Well, I did it. Search the body. Empty jar. Craftable lab. An empty jar. With proper equipment, can be filled with various liquids. Corrupted finger. Offering. The filthy finger of a living corpse. She calling. She's calling herself the first witch now. Ward candy. Healing item. A holy candle. Gradually heals first damage. The longer one stays close to it, the faster it heals. Dispels nearby magical traps. Spirits and enchanted armor cannot pass by while it burns. One. Maid. Charlotte. Offering. Corrupted finger. Charlotte. Did always like to help the kitchen, didn't she? Health, 35. Curse tolerance, 20. 35 poise. So this is just her card. Use item. So. I think we should heal. And then. This. Healing. If I use it, do I lose it? Well, let's actually use it because I'm in need of this. So let's just. Can I pick it up? Probably not. Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Oh well, I lost all my curse though, so that's good. Try not to take so much in the future. At least now I know I can't actually attack the spirits. Search. Empty jar. Times three. Search. Strange coin times two. Let's, let's peek. Bathroom. Turn her up. That's creepy. Um, let's, let's go this way first. Okay. Leave it open for now, in case we need to run in there. Um, I'm assuming the clock, or whatever that is, probably has something in it we need. Pick up. Oh. Poison antidote. Healing item. Curious effective and effective activated charcoal. Heals any poison buildup in the poison status effect. The stinking dead continuously find novel ways to defend themselves. Some of the original caller patients have begun new to spew miasmic clouds that linger in the air. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what this guy's gonna do. Is spew stuff in the air. Oh, come on. Okay, so... Tide. Oh, come on, so they saw me? Damn. Church. Got a freaking healing kit, but, you know, that's useful. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. 
Not close the door. I think it went through there. Close the door now. Jeez. Hide. Okay, good. Oh, come on. What? What? I got the library key. Oh. Okay, she's, she's not. Oh, it's a safe zone. Jeez. So. Okay. Inspect. The night mother remembers. We are her bricks, and blood is her mortar. Welsh Country House. Welsh Country Houses. Alfred Mostyn was fond of saying he was an 18th century man born in the 19th century. Thus, Mostyn House, while fitted with the latest technology like gaslighting, had distinct barroquet sensibility. Notoriously thrifty, Alfred filled his estate with replicas of expensive paintings and plastered copies of famous statues. Upon opening in 1871, early visitors split on whether the interior was beautiful or tasteless. While Alfred was away during the summer of 1872, disgruntled mine workers burnt his primary Methier Tiville residence to the ground. Worse still, his sister was inside and perished in the fire, having put nearly all his financial resources into the construction of the Mawson House. Alfred had no choice but to move full time into his country house. Other terrible events still followed. Events still soon followed. Well, that's harsh. Okay, what's this? What the hell is this? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Oh, a new visitor in our dream. How exciting! Filthy wretch. Oh, so this is the filthy wretch. Don't have a name exactly, but most folks around here call me the Filthy Wretch. I'm consider myself a tutor of sorts of the occult arts. You seem like you would make a fine student. Before we get started, I have a small request, which you might find a bit off-putting. I'd like you to bring me a corrupted finger, freshly clipped from one of our undead. Don't look so shocked. You don't even know what it's for. I'd suggest targeting one of the sleeping zombies. I appreciate this is an unusual and difficult request, but I assure you, the end result will be worth it. Well, I've already got a thing. There you go. Excellent. I won't ask you where you got it. Now, what I'd like you to do is eat the finger. Hmm. Okay. Just kidding. Okay, get it. Because that's kind of gross. Each body part has a valuable commodity with many uses in the dream, as in life. You see the stone shrine in the broom? A curious ancient thing. Place the finger into its basin to activate. It will help you remember items you might otherwise have forgotten each night. You'll find shrines like these throughout the mansion. Just as no two people are alike, no two are the shrines. So are the shrines. Each one will give you will require a different offering to activate. Each new shrine you activate will allow you to remember an additional item. Return to me, people, once you have activated the shrine. Quest completed. Quest completed. Use corrupted finger to activate the shrine in the cult library, returning to the filthy wretch. Well, okay. Let's do it. The night mother remembers. We are her bricks, and blood is her mortar. Corrupted finger, off. You have unlocked plus one item in your remembered slot. Okay. Manage your remembered items. Okay. So if I die or I guess the next day, which I don't know how long this a single day lasts, but uh, we can see if uh, we can do I lose it if I store it? Because the curse ward ring would be kind of cool. I'm going to keep that. Okay. And back out. 
Let's search this. Another warden candle and a spiritual twig. Interesting. Table for pressing wax. Is that's how you make wax, I guess? Once I learn how to do that, she'll probably teach it to me right now, I guess. Speak. Our next lesson will be the casting of spells. You may be a skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, but there is no doubting its power in the dream. How is this? Hold this blue scroll. Focus your attention to the seal and imagine it breaking while you wave your hand over it. The seal will break and the magic synergies contained within consume the scroll and escape. The blue scroll is a protection spell, giving you an invisible suit of armor that will absorb a few hits before dissipating. There is a price, however. Using magic will cause one of one becoming slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Okay, so yeah, using magic will cause curse. Okay. Graying of the skin and increase awareness of paranormal activity nearby. Next, strange and horrific sights previously hidden will be revealed themselves. Everyone has tolerance for being cursed, which if, if exceeded leads to rather rapid internal rotting process. In that case, use a warding handle immediately to reduce your curses. Enough prattle. Give that spell a try, and then see me when you're ready to learn more. Completed quest. develops the caster in magical armor that will absorb all physical damage until but depleted. I call upon Sabok to furnish me well a suit of protective armor. Adds 25 armor, maximum of 100, 15 curse damage to cast. Is there a time limit? It does say until it's depleted, so um, I guess we'll just use it. I have blue in my health bar. Speak. To craft your own spells, you'll need a grimoire. It so happens I have extra for beginner grimoire you may have. You can use the table over there to create your spells. Here's a blank scroll. You also need to find some wax. Come see me when you're done. Well, I've already found some wax. I have scroll paper. Summons a lifelink dummy of the cast, which will attract the enemy's location until it's destroyed. Health of the dummy scales with spell damage. I call upon Rapum to assist me in deceiving my enemies. 15 curse damage to cast. So red wax, yellow, blue, warding candle. Oh, to make a warding candle, you need one of each. Blank scroll and red wax to make a door hex spell. Places hex upon the door. Anyone who opens it will be engulfed in a cloud of cursed energy. The effect lingers for several seconds. The hex is only visible to its creator and can be dispelled with warding can. I call upon Marvis for his skill and mechanical arts to protect this door. 50 curse damage, 25 physical, 100 poise damage impact, and 15 curse to cast. It's a lot of a lot and then the armor spell and the dummy spell so let's make a arm uh, dummy spell i guess a craft craft your first item okay i made a new item Speak. i've taught you everything i can for now to come to our studies in the occult to continue your studies in the occult You'll need to find the first wretch in the basement. Here is the east stairwell key. Before heading down, you might talk to Margaret Black. She mentioned needing something uh, from down there. Be warned that someone has tampered with the gas pipes in the basement. All the gas lights are out. 
And the basement is not somewhere you want to be without a light. New quest. Find the first witch in the basement. Okay, ask Mark Blackhouse studies about something in the study. So if we, we have to go back to the study, I guess. Um, let's equip... Our melee weapon. Our quick menu. We have a map. Banquet hall. Strange bedroom. Bathroom. Cult library. So I'm assuming I just keep going down. I have to keep going down probably for the uh, study. Let's search the warden candle times two. Got a lot of warden candles now. That's cool. The peak here. The study. Perfect. So let's go talk to... What was that? Search. Creepy doll. Tool. An unnerving yet harmless child's doll. Place to create a distraction or draw attention to something. Lucky that you brought these dolls with you, Priscilla. The fire consumed all of your old toys. Had I been more nostalgic when I moved, perhaps they would have been saved. So, Wells Country House 4. In 1874, Alfred was invited alongside a diplomatic tour of the Ottoman Empire, seeing an opportunity to ingratiate him, his children to the aristocratic class. He brought Peter and Priscilla along. Peter Mostyn returned from his trip alone. Both Alfred and Priscilla died in fever at Constantinople. That's freaking harsh. Dude, this dude has like shit luck. Having brought both his father and sister home in the crates, Peter was already a broken man at 28. He lived quietly, opening Mostyn House into the occasional privileged guest traveling to or from Eastern. Okay, holy crap. Opening Mostyn House to the occasional privileged guest traveling to or from Eastern Wales. Rough. So the sun survived. And he opened up this house. Okay. Margaret Black. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. I believe you'll be you'll do well in the dream. Let me f give you a little gift. It's an old ring of mine. If you die in the dream, you'll lose most of your items. But some blessed items, like this ring, will survive from night to night. Now that you've acquainted with magic, I have a favor to ask. There is a powerful artifact in the most and most yellow that may have the key to escaping the dream. The last person seen there was the butcher's surgeon. He has a repugnant man my father hired to help him with research in the dream. I've heard that he was seen in the Muslim mausoleum recently, searching for corpses to antimites. Anonymites. He spends most of his time in the basement, studying corpses in the kitchen. As you are much more able with magic than I, can you venture down there and see if you can find anything out? Be careful. He's usually od odious and Unpredictable man. Oh, unpredictable man. Oh, oh, audacious. Okay. Also, have you taken a close look at the curio cabinet in the occult library? Lots of interesting objects. In there. No, I haven't, but okay, I guess I will now. Questions, Nightingale? Margaret. What can I tell you about myself? Father. My father is a Dr. Robert Black. Famed American physician turned Welsh asylum. Owner. Have you heard of the composer Jonathan Sebastian Bach? He's my father's favorite. Bach has given a near impossible task by Father Frederick of Russia. Devise an, an accompaniment to a completed melody, complicated melody on the spot. 
who see King Frederick love to humiliate visitors to his court in his own way. By having them fail at something they were supposedly excellent. Bach completed the task much more than much more to the amazement of everyone in the room. When I first started learning about how to play a piano at the age of eight, my father gave me the same challenge. In fact, he gave me that same challenge every day for four years. When finally I had learned enough to counterpoint to enough counterpoint to complete the challenge, he congratulated me for taking four years to match what Bach had done in a single night. Well, that makes sense. My father always aspired to match the achievement of his heroes. He just never realized that his hero was finally King Frederick. His, his hero is really King Frederick, not Bach. Okay. Mother. I never knew my mother. That's sad. I was born a child and I was born in China in the wake of the second opium war. My father says she, she died in childbirth, but I'm not sure I believe it. I don't think it matters much. The only thing my mother gave me was my this face, which I was not always an asset growing up in England. The future. My father wishes to pursue a full-time study in the bed in the dream. As such, I'll become the only administrator of the asylum. As for the dream, who can say? It was in existed for at least 18 years. I suspect it will be uh, with us forever. I only hope my father has my father's research will only find a way to banish these wretched living corpses. Questions about the dream? I've already asked those questions, and we will leave. Basement. Hmm. If we go back to the occult library. She mentioned that there was a weird. Was she? What was she talking about? That's the... Inspect. There's a small passage under the curio cabinet. Crawl through. Ah. What the fuck? Open this. Just a place to hide. We got a warrior guy in a cage. Read tactics manual. Tactics manual. One, bait out attacks by dodging at the last second, then heavy attack to close the distance. Two, use a yellow dummy spell to create a distraction and attack from behind. Three, briefly hide under furniture to avoid projectiles or charging enemies. Four, cast a red hex on the door or wardrobe, then place a doll nearby to attract attention to it. Five, use sound to your advantage. Fireworks can gather all enemies to a location of your choosing. Running is a good local noise making option if you have nothing else. Six, tailor the rings to your, wear your preferred combat style to maximize damage. Amendum April uh, 1891. In order to weed out dull initiates, this manual is no longer to be given out. Yeah, so. Huh. There's some sort of release for that? Am I gonna step on a trap or something? Ring the bell? An Iron Maiden? Open the chest. He 
Evasion Codex. Permanent Artifact. Describes a charm to recite the while dodging. It momentarily transforms the caster into a spirit, rendering them impervious to all attacks. She generally believes rolling about the floor while it makes her impossible to hit. To dodge roll and roll, additional it adds a brief period of invulnerability, plus two curse damage to wear. Hmm. I am not touching that fucking thing because if I touch that, that cage is open. I guarantee you. I freaking inspect this. That cage is open. I wonder if I heal. Okay, kind of thought so. We still get the armor bonus there. Okay, well, we're gonna have to read this, and I know it's gonna unlock that dude. Combat training procedure. This is a critical. Th it is critical. The initiate active to the shrine prior to beginning training. Initiate activate. It is critical. The initiate activate the shrine prior to beginning training. Otherwise, the night will be wasted. For successful training, the initiate should activate the mirror shrine, pull the chain to release the training assistant, engage in combat, die, repeat. Explain to the initiate that if they defeat the training assessment, it would be like they restart. They can take advantage of their Iron Maiden in the process. Amendum October 19, 1891. As initiates are now barred from using this mirror shrine, this training is no longer to be used under any circumstances. So mirrors can do something or is it just this mirror? Activate the mirror shrine. Pull the chain? No. Inspect the mirror. Moonless. Formless paths connect the past and the present. Light this candle to open the path. So long as you do not leave this room, death will return you to this moment. Okay. So I lit the camera. That's probably me in the mirror right there. We will pull the chain, I guess. Yes. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's fight this bitch. Oh, shit. Okay. So I took damage there for sure. There's no block, so it's just dodge. Let's see if I can do a heavy attack before he attacks. Dodge. Ah, bleeding. Let's do a heavy attack again. Dot. Ah, so there's no like, I guess there is stagger. I saw stagger in the menu, right? But, oh shit. Whoa, oh shit. Uh, do I want to waste a healing item though? Okay, she, he killed me. I'll wake up. So I still have the armor. Status effect, remember. Inspect. They can take advantage of that. Let's try again. Huh. So hide if he's running at you. So dodge, no. So dodge, and then heavy, oh no, dodge. Hit him, dodge. Oh, no. And then heavy attack, dodge. Oh shit, he's coming at me. Ah, oh, I couldn't. Okay. So I almost want to stick by a table just in case. Oh wow. Oh wow. 
Okay, let's heal. No. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna try this again. Oh, shoot. No, we're gonna... Yes, we're gonna hit that. Hmm. Yeah, so we wanna... I wonder what the bell does. Huh. I, like, you can't... Ah, uh, okay. Wow. You can't really like dodge very quickly. It's a slow reaction. Like you hit the button, and then it dodges. Okay, I got it out of the way there. I'm bleeding to death. Is that what's going on here? Yes. I'm dead. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is good, because it kind of is teaching you how to like, attack and dodge and like, the timing of things, but at the same time, like, this is freaking not easy, that's for sure. What's this do? Didn't seem like that did anything. Now I'm bleeding, so that's great. Ah. There's a lot of health. Am I supposed to kill him? Cause like, damn, this is not going well. Uh, let's go and maybe try. Dummy spell. And then... Oh, nope, that didn't work. size to go well i think i'm gonna call it there for now um and uh we'll see you next time on the wrench feels like playing withering rooms